The 365-day calendar of ancient Egypt is not only a remarkable invention for measuring time, but it is also one of humanity's earliest and most significant scientific achievements, leaving a profound mark on our civilization today. This calendar system was not only based on the cycle of the sun, but also built upon the meticulous and intelligent astronomical observations of the ancient Egyptians. It marked an important step in understanding time and the universe, while laying the foundation for the modern calendar we still use today. The ancient Egyptians were astute in recognizing the connection between the solar cycle and the changes in the Nile River. The Nile, the lifeblood of Egyptian civilization, experiences regular flooding every year. The floodwaters rise and overflow into the fields, bringing fertile silt that helps farmers grow crops and sustain their livelihood. This flood was not just an important natural event, but also a critical factor for the survival of the Egyptian people. Therefore, they needed to know exactly when the flood would occur to best prepare for the growing season. To predict the flood accurately, the Egyptians discovered that every year, at a certain time, the star Sirius, also known as the Dog Star, would appear in the sky before sunrise. This signaled the coming of the flood. Not only did this help them predict the flood, but it also marked the start of the new year, signaling the end of the old year and the beginning of the planting season. Thus, the appearance of Sirius became an important astronomical indicator that helped the Egyptians understand the natural cycles and organize their lives scientifically. Based on these observations, the Egyptians created a 365-day solar calendar, a system that originated from the solar cycle. The calendar was divided into 12 months, each with 30 days, totaling 360 days. However, this was not accurate enough to match the solar year, as the actual length of the year is about 365.25 days. Therefore, the Egyptians added an extra five days, known as epigominal days, at the end of each year to complete the 365-day cycle. This calendar not only helped the Egyptians predict the flood, but also held deep religious and cultural significance. The new year, marked by the rising of Sirius, was not only the start of the flood season, but also a time for the Egyptians to conduct ceremonies honoring the gods, especially the goddess Isis, wife of Osiris. The Egyptians believed that Sirius brought life and prosperity, and its appearance heralded a new year filled with hope and abundance. The Egyptian calendar system did not just survive within their civilization. It profoundly influenced other cultures. When Julius Caesar reformed the calendar in 46 BC, he based it on the Egyptian calendar, creating the Julian calendar, which was later reformed again in 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII, forming the Gregorian calendar we use today. These changes not only improved the accuracy of timekeeping, but also demonstrated the widespread influence of ancient Egyptian civilization on the world. Today, we still use the 365-day solar calendar, with minor adjustments to account for changes in nature. However, it is undeniable that the ancient Egyptians laid the groundwork for a calendar system that every civilization around the world has adopted and developed. The 365-day calendar is not just a tool for measuring time, but a blend of science and belief, astronomy and agriculture, life and religion.